Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will take a look at Logseq project management. So how do we use Logseq for project management? Well, if you don't have the Logseq app already or the application, go ahead and download this in logseq.com. Or if you're not yet sure if you want to download it, there is actually a demo right here. So just go into demo.logseq.com. This will load up some interface where you can go ahead and use logseq now first of all if you take a look on the left hand side of your logseq right here you should be able to see your graph right here which essentially is kind of like your container of everything so if you want to create a graph for specific projects you can go ahead and do so or if you want your entire system to be in one graph then you can go ahead and do so as well. So the power of Logseq, it's all about being able to connect everything into links so that you're able to go ahead and build your project. But if we go ahead and take a look at the left-hand side first, usually you will see everything in a journals folder. So a journals section is created every day where you can go ahead and create kind of like your to-do list. So say, for example, we have one right here. I've just put it as to do. Uh, to do that, all we need to do is to just go ahead and type in to do and then space and then add something or add the task itself. So um, something like uh, this. And then if we go ahead and click enter, you should be able to see that it has shifted this into a to do tab itself. So if you're complete with this, you can go ahead and tick this and then it will just go ahead and, you know, uh, complete that to do. Or if you want to go ahead and click on it, you can change it into now or later or even doing or to do right there. So this gives you uh, pretty much just, you know, uh, usually on your journals, you'd create like a to do task of your day to day tasks itself. Now, that's one thing that you can go ahead and do for your project management. But uh, let me go ahead and go through the other stuff right here as well. So there is sections right here for whiteboards. There are sections right here for flashcards as well, if you need to. And then we have the graph view, which uh, allows you to basically take a look at your entire um, graph itself. So how do all of these connect? So as you can see here, I have like these dates right here connected somewhat. And then of course you have all of your pages that you want to go ahead and take a look at. But usually we go ahead and create something within our journals first. And then if we were to create a new project, then all we need to do is to go right here on the bottom left. And then we're gonna be clicking on a new page right here. And then, we can just go ahead and create a page. Um, let's say for example, new page right there. And then let's just call this something like project 101. So this will be our project, which is to do with, you know, uh, our main project right here. And then we would have all of the information that we need here. Uh, say, for example, uh, you know, the uh, name of the project is to um, generate a video tutorial on uh, Logseq. So what kind of tasks would we usually do? Say, for example, to do uh, record the video. Uh, another to do is to edit the video itself and then uh, another to do is to review feedback or you know review uh, the video and then uh, we have these things called indents as well so say for example um, we have something for uh, pre-process we can go ahead and add a tab or create a bullet point under our 
prep uh, our title right here and then we can start doing our to do's right here and this enables us to create some form of indentation like so and it allows us to you know essentially just go ahead and manage everything all together as well but the nice thing that you can actually go ahead and do is we could actually create pages out of these as well so say for example let's change this into uh, pre-process and then we could create one for research a page right there and then if we go ahead into the research page itself then we could uh, maybe add some form of you know uh, add links to our video or uh, what, what is currently on the market or something like this so you're now starting to build more and more so you're now starting to build more and more pages with each other now once i have created this page called research as you can see we have these things called linked references and unlinked references so this is the power of logseq where you're able to go ahead and connect everything together so as you can see this research page which is mentioned right here is connected to this particular page right here which is in project 101 so if we go ahead and click on project 101 as you can see we're able to go ahead and link back into this right here so how do we connect all of this in terms of our journal well once that we have our journal right here and say for example that we need to you know uh, uh, handle uh, some work in terms of our project we can go ahead and link our project right here so say for example uh, project 101 and then just click enter now we have some form of referencing that we need to go ahead and do so this allows us to basically connect everything all together and for us to go ahead and create uh, any form of pages or any form of linking we can do that via this double bracket setting right here or we could also go ahead and link it by doing a hash key on the actual project like so as you can see and then as you can see our link references has been generated in terms of that and the more that you go ahead and connect everything together the more that you're able to fully see how everything is connected so as you can see we have our usual journals right here which are created every single day and then you should be able to see how all of these are connected together so we have our project 101 right there connected to our uh, research section or page and connected to again another page called pre-process right here and there you go so just go ahead and start building all of your uh, fundamentals of your project management and eventually you will be able to create a form of network system for you to go ahead and manage your logseq project management and there you go i hope that you have found this tutorial helpful see you guys next time